I feel like, you know, it's one thing to do something for yourself, it's another to do something for everyone else. Mm -hmm. so. Anybody want to add anything? I just said it all. She said it all. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's really, hi, my name is Carmen Cobain. <laughs> I just think it's a really good opportunity, like, to kind of reiterate what Nancy had just said, just for all of the female artists to kind of come together instead of, Boston is kind of known to be competitive, mm -hmm. whether it's in the female Hater game or the male game, there's always that competitiveness which kind of makes people not want to work together for whatever reason. And I think that ultimately, like, this could be a huge thing. And instead of all of the, okay, I don't like you because I think that you're my main competition, mm -hmm. we should probably, we could take it over. I mean, we're all very talented. There's so much talent in Boston in general. Mm -hmm. And to just be surrounded by the same like-minded individuals with the same goals, um, I think that that's just an amazing opportunity. And I think that this can be something big, for sure. Okay. So getting on to, you guys kind of already touched on this, but getting on to the subject of unity, you know, as you said, there's an idea that in the Boston scene, right. it's like people don't work together, people right. don't support each other, especially females. Females right. are known for, you know, being catty, catty whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. So, and obviously you guys are kind of trying to break that more. Right. We're trying to crack, right. like crack that open. There's no reason to be catty. I mean, there's enough money for everyone in the world. We're trying <laughs> yeah, to be positive role exactly. models. We're trying to, I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're females, we're women with full-time jobs yeah. that nighttime we're performing. So we're like juggling. It's, it's basically a balancing act. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's no room for like the hate. There's no room for people to be discouraging or talking badly about someone else. We need to yeah. just come together and show show the world what Boston's made of. Mm -hmm. I mean, Boston is not really looked upon as having talent when we're probably like right. one of the most talented cities and, and states in general, like in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also I mean, just we, to add, to, oh, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, this is Shay Rose. I think to add to it, it, it Boston does kind of have that reputation for folks not working together, but I think it's just the music industry in general. I was at the gym in 94.5 concert a few weeks ago, and it was all men, the whole line. Mm -hmm. Sean Garrett, yep. Chris Brown, mm -hmm. Big Sean, um, Lupe Fiasco, Waka Flocka. There are no women mm -hmm. on the bill. And I was mm -hmm. like, really? I mean, that's just not, it's not right. That, that doesn't make mm -hmm. sense to me. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's incredible that Nicki Minaj is holding the spot, and I think she's really amazing. And I think she is a type of person, just listening to her interviews, to want to open up the scene. Mm -hmm. um, but similarly, I did a project with Queen Latifah, um, and that was her mission with her and CoverGirl. She wanted to try and bring together female um, MCs, rappers, and singers just mm -hmm. so that we have a presence in the industry. So I don't think it's really exclusive to Boston. I think it's lacking in the industry in general for women to have a voice and right. for women to be represented because mm -hmm. there's no way that you should go to a major concert and there are 10 guys right. on Absolutely. the hill and no women and all the women are doing is dancing behind them. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. It's like but that's why screaming, yeah. 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 screaming or screaming yeah. in the audience, <laughs> exactly. So I think it's important and I think it's great for us to start within our communities, mm -hmm. like what Smokehouse is doing and make it kind of a national effort. But I'm really excited to be a part of this because I know that it's not only a campaign that we're doing here in our community, but like I said, Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. she tried to do it um, mm -hmm. with her um, presence and with the power that she has in the mm -hmm. industry. And I've heard Nicki Minaj talk about it. I've heard other female artists. I've heard Carrie Hilson talk about it. So it's not just us here. It's just like the yeah. industry we need to kind of like infiltrate as a whole. So this is incredible to be starting here in Boston on the grassroots level mm -hmm. yeah. with right. all of these incredible women. Creating this platform. Recently, um, I'm going to tell you recently too, I, I mean, piggybacking off what you were saying about the industry as a whole, if you notice, there's been a lot more people speaking about, you know, like the question, where are all the female MCs? That's been like the main question. Mm -hmm. I think, um, like you were saying with Nicki Minaj, the fact that she came out and, you know, she's doing very well. It's also, you know, she has her lane, but it's, you know, it's also making people now have their eyes set on female MCs and question, mm -hmm. okay, where are the female MCs? So, um, right me personally, I know, I, I personally, I always say this, I think from um, being around for so long and, and meeting different females and hearing different females, I personally, think that Boston, like as far as females, from what I've heard, I think that we have a lot of the best females. I mean, I haven't been everywhere, but I know lyrically, um, I think a lot of the females, you know, they, you know, they, they either in cruise with dudes or, but they, at the same time, they're in cruise with dudes, but they, they can spit harder or just as ill as a dude. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's something that I've been noticing is good. I think right now is a perfect time for females to come together because a lot of people are questioning and wondering where are all the female MCs and they're here. They're definitely here, you know. Mm -hmm. 
so we'll see what happens. Carmen again, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm a talker. Nope, no problem. <laughs> but to kind of um, comment on what Letitia just said, it definitely is like a male dominated thing and there are so many female rappers here that are amazing and I just, I think it's just time for everyone to see. It's, I don't think it should be fair that we as females have to like prove ourselves whereas though you can be a, a male with a mediocre talent and you're good. Yeah. Whereas a female, you have to go extra hard. You gotta, you gotta do things that, uh, that the other guys can't do. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm speaking personally from being in a group with all guys. I mean, in, in a way, it kind of that? hit makers with okay. Lou Armstrong. Um, so yeah. there's a lot of guys, and I've been with the group since I was 16. So in a way, I kind of, I'm glad of that because it, it's given me kind of the strength to. Um, I had to like basically prove myself. I started out rapping, battling battling nothing but guys and just just making them look silly because I was good but I don't think that I think it's good that now Nicki Minaj is kind of letting it be known that females are ill like we we have those lyrics we are good mm -hmm. and yes like Letitia said some of the best female rappers are right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me and Sia, I'm in. Um, I think with out of what you're saying with that being said we need each other hmm. right. I, I feel like you know with the fact that we have so much talent and females have to work 10 times hard to prove themselves and also we're also looked as not as artists but like icons i'm sure there's been plenty of times you walked into a show and it's like you know if you especially with hip-hop and stuff like that they look at you not as an artist they kind of look at you as a female mm -hmm. and one thing that jay hunt has always told me is like it doesn't matter if you're male female short tall kid an artist is an artist and they should always respect you as that mm -hmm. um and with the female movement that you know he's pushing you know i want everybody to feel like an artist just on the plain level as the males are being treated mm -hmm. don't come in don't come to me as if i'm pretty or sexy or whatever the case may be come to me as an artist talk to me about my music don't talk to me about how i look I mean, and, and it's yeah. cool. It's cool. I know it. It matters just as much, but it's it's kind of disrespectful, or because you, you know you're like I'm here for my art. I'm not here to like be eye candy, okay, right? You know? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here to to, to share what what I've worked on for months and months. I'm not here to hook up with anybody. Right. You know, and so that's why I say I feel like we need each other. We need to represent each other well. We need to really take our our music.